What is a sanctuary? Is it a place with stained glass and pipe organs, with tall stone columns and pews? Is it a place like this? Is a sanctuary a place with windows and doors? Or is a sanctuary a country, a city, a community? Is sanctuary a feeling? We're starting our journey today here in James Chapel because this has been a place of sanctuary for countless students at Union Theological Seminary for the past century. We don't know their names necessarily. We don't necessarily know their faces. But in a way, we are among them. At times, we have found this place to fill the needs that we didn't even know we had. We've come out of here fill, feeling full. And at other times, we have left this space feeling empty, wanting something a little more, but not knowing exactly what that is. In a few minutes, we'll be going outside those doors because we realize that sometimes we don't have the option to stay in a place. Sometimes we have to find sanctuary along the journey. But for the time that we have here still, I invite you into a time of reflection and meditation. So if you'd like to put your feet on the floor or close your eyes, or maybe lay on the floor and look up at the rafters, just ease into whatever state you need to be in in this moment. Feel the breath enter and leave your body. Where are we? Do you belong here? I am here.
We remember that there is disproportionate access to clean water in the world. As a community, we know that we come from many different places with many relationships to holy water and ancient rituals. May we be a sanctuary for those who serve. Know that we belong to each other and rejoice. We remember small that blocked out the sun from many communities. We remember the violence of buying and selling air that contributes to gentrification. We remember the chemicals that make it impossible for children to breathe. We remember the ashes thrown to poor communities to avoid more affluent ones. We remember those who have cried out that they can't breathe, only to be met with indifference that leads to death. We remember the inability to replenish air when land has been deforested. But air is the great unifier. We all breathe the same air and understand it as one of life's necessities. May we be a sanctuary for those who cannot breathe. Know that we belong to each other and rejoice. We remember overuse of soil. We remember food deserts. We remember the craters in the earth created by bombs dropped. We remember the lines and the borders that divide us. We remember that this is stolen land, blood-soaked land that we stand on. We remember war. We remember colonization. But we also remember that we each came from the earth, and to the earth we will return. May we be a sanctuary for those who feel displaced, either at home or abroad. Know that we belong to each other and rejoice. We invite you each to choose one of these elements, air, water, and earth. Please form a line in front of each of these. Receive a blessing and then turn to bless the person behind you. An embodied remembrance that we belong to each other, that we belong to this earth, and that we belong to this community. Come. Bless and be
honor the Spirit within us. But the truth that we must remember is that the world is not safe, and no designation of sanctuary will ever completely cancel out the insecurity surrounding the lives of many, both within and outside of our community. Life is ever on the move, ever filled with danger and uncertainty. And so what we are left with is simply our hands outstretched to one another. Perhaps this is our home right here on Broadway. Perhaps all we have is each other. And so here we are to remember our shared responsibility of care and to participate in a communion ritual of food for the ever precarious, ever necessary, and ever giving fight for justice. In the middle of it all, come and eat. Thank you. 